Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Uh, you might hear background noise and that's Josh cleaning in the kitchen and the kitchen is like right behind that wall right there. So if you hear it, that's what it is. But you're not here for me to just like disclaim that. You're here for a project pan update and this is my year long project pan um, rolling style update, first update of the year, which I'm super excited about. So I am just going to grab the products and talk about them. I believe it's the same order that I talk about them in my introduction. Um, it's like an order of application kind of thing is what I went for uh, when I was talking about the products. So I'm just going to talk about it the exact same way um, from what I can remember at least. Um, also, all of the uses and everything will be somewhere on the screen. Um, if I took weights, that kind of thing, the weight change, the uses, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it right now, but it'll be somewhere on the screen so you will know so I don't have to relay them and like rally it off. So the first item that I wanted to talk about is this guy here. This is my Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil. And when we rolled it in, we were at this line down here and it is an airless pump. So the product goes up. Um, I didn't think I was going to make that much progress with it because it I've had it for like six months and I've only made this much progress. But within a month, I have made so much progress. So that is an incredible amount of progress um, in a month's time span, especially again, since I have had this for a long while now and I didn't make that much progress in having it for a long period of time. But I am like, I don't even know if you can really see in there. There is not much product left. So there is a very, very small amount. So this is going to definitely be done bef before the next update. So this will be for sure finished by the next update. So I'm super excited about that. So that'll be a good product gone. Um, maybe this month, maybe I can finish it before the end of February. Who knows? But yeah, I, um, I'll continue to use this. I actually have found myself liking it more than I initially liked it. Um, it is just kind of an extra step, but it does have a really lovely lemony, like citrus kind of scent to it. Um, I do apply it every morning before I put makeup on, and I do actually think that it's helped my skin a little bit as well. I was suffering from some breakouts and just dullness in my skin, and I do think that that's helped me for sure with the radiance because it is like an oil and you're putting it on. But I also use another like highlighting product that could have helped with like some of the radiance aspect. Um, and that's what we're going to talk about next is this guy. So I had this um, product in. This is the Skin Glow Lip Bar. This is the Lip Bar Skin Glow Serum in my, my shade is Rosé All Day. So when we first had it in, we were there and now we are down there. I don't really like this whole heck of a lot, to be quite honest, but I'm really trying to make a good effort with it. So what I do with this is I actually mix it with my primer. And right now I'm just using the NYX um, Marshmallow Primer. So I've been mixing these together to prime my skin before I put makeup on and it's been working really well. Um, again, I don't think I would really repurchase this. It's just like, okay, it doesn't really do a whole lot for like highlighting and doing all that stuff that I really want it to do. Um, so I don't think I would repurchase this, but I do like, um, liquid highlights like, like this, just not this one in particular. So I'm looking forward to finishing this. And again, I think that this is something that I can finish within the next month at least, which is always good. I'm very excited if I can finish this within another another one within a month, which would be totally cool, totally great. I'm really trying to make strides in my makeup collection to not have so much like um, redundancies. Not to say that this is a redundancy, but I just don't like this. So I kind of want to get it out before I purchase another liquid highlight and then I like really don't want to use that one, you know? So there is that. Then I have, um, I'm going to talk about my cream products first just because my other face products are powders. So the first one I'm going to talk about is this guy. This is my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye uh, concealer in light natural. I made a ton of progress. Like this is even not, this has air in it and it is very, very difficult to pull product out of this. So I think this is going to be another one. Like I'm really going to try. This is going to be another one where it's finished in the next couple weeks, like definitely for the next update. Like, so I've pushed all of this out and I have to do this and like push it up from the bottom and there's okay there's a little bit that comes out so <clears throat> i will probably finish this before the next update again um 
really weird. Like, I did not expect to, like, make this much progress and, like, kick some of these products out. Like, I thought this was going to take a long time because it seemed much more full than it was. But apparently, I am just eating concealers right now. So who the heck knows? Hmm. Um, another, okay, and then other cheek product is this guy. Now, I'm, I think I made a good amount of progress in this, so I'll have a clip over here go up first. This is my Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out uh, Cream Blush in the shade Fenty Glow. Haley was an angel and sent this over to me, um, not this past December, but the December before. Um, it was like our, we first moved in and she like sent this like lovely care package and this was one of the products in it. And I wanna get my use out of it because I really enjoy it. And I like when I use it, I think of Haley and it like makes me really happy, you know? So. This is what we're looking like now. So we hit pan in her and I'm so happy about it. I really did not think that I was going to hit pan in it so quickly, but here we are with a decent amount of pan as well. Like that is nothing to be, um, nothing to laugh at, I guess. Um, that's a good amount of pan. I'm pretty darn excited about it. So I'm going to continue to use it. It's an absolutely lovely color as well. It's kind of like bronzy, but like can like orangey enough where it can be like a supernatural blush but also like neutral enough that I can put other colored blushes on top of it and it doesn't look weird it kind of just like enhances the shade that it is so I've really really been enjoying this and I'm super excited to continue to use this that product's going to take a long time I think in this project that's totally fine though I don't mind if it takes a little bit longer especially since we've made so many leaps and bounds with other products that I've rolled in here um, speaking of products that I've really made leaps and bounds with, um, again, I'm going to have a clip posted right now. This is the Joa Blurfection Setting Powder, and my goal was to finish, or my goal is to finish this off this year. I did. I am, like, actually shocked that I finished this off so early, and I think I realized why I finished this so early. It's because I, um... I was using a SPF spray, like setting spray, because I'm like, I don't put it, I'm not putting my SPF on right now. Like it's dark when I go to work, it's dark when I come home. I'm just gonna use the mist setting spray that has SPF in it. And like, that's how I'm gonna get my SPF. That thing, that sucker made me so freaking oily. It was the Ulta Beauty um, SPF spray. It made me so unbelievably oily that I like would retouch up like multiple times a day. And that's how I finished this. And I'm like actually shocked that I finished this so early and kind of bummed because I really liked this powder. In the interim, I've been using my Hourglass like face trio, this guy, um, which isn't quite the same, but it, I mean, I have it, so I'm going to use it, you know, but I, yeah, I can't, I really can't believe I finished this. Um, I have no more like typical like translucent setting powders in my collection um currently so if you guys have a good recommendation on a nice solid translucent setting powder that's pressed um that's not super expensive because um i'm just not i don't need an expensive setting powder um let me know i have been eyeing the a makeup revolution one i really enjoyed this so i would be interested in repurchasing this um i also have been contemplating just buying my um the makeup revolution like giant like loose powder um, again, just cause that you get such bang for your buck, but yeah, let me know if you have a recommendation on setting powder. I would love to know. I'm very interested in trying a couple out, one or two out. I'm totally fine with that, but would like to keep it drugstore if possible. So she's done. First product completely done this year. I'm very excited. Um, so moving to other complexion products that are powders, um, I had a loose, foundation in for the past month and this is my bare minerals original <clears throat> my bare minerals original loose mineral foundation in the shade golden medium this is actually a bit too dark for me right now so I was using it and then I realized I looked ridiculous like I had a very like significant demarcation line where my foundation stopped and my like my normal skin was um but I did make a little bit of progress it took me a good while to figure out that this was not the right shade for me right now um and since 
because this isn't the right shade for me, I am going to actually roll this out for the interim and I'm going to roll a different foundation that just works better um, with the idea that I will circle back to this come like summer when I'm getting a little bit more color and this doesn't look ridiculous on me. So I'm going to roll this out, but I'm going to roll something that works for me now that needs to get used up so sooner than later. Um, and then I'll revisit this back in the summer. So they're like, this is rolling out, but it's not finished clearly. Then I had a bronzer in and I'm really, really proud of the progress that I made. Now I don't have, I didn't look at a clip of like the before and after, like how it looked initially and like how it's looking now, but I'm pretty darn sure that I made a ton of progress in this because the pan has just like exponentially grown. That is this butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. I use it every single day. I don't use any other bronzer. I only use this one. Um, and I think that the pan has just really grown. If I remember correctly, like where this darker bit of like powder that's stuck on the pan is, I think that's how big the pan was. And we've just really been expanding the pan. Um, this is gonna take me a good long while. I still don't mind like running my brush in it, especially my brush is a little bit smaller I have like a very tapered brush that I like to use so I can still get powder on the brush and apply it so I'm not going to repress it anytime soon maybe by April I'll probably have to repress it based on like how it's been growing um, I'll probably need to repress it by April or May um, but I'm totally fine using it right now as it is and I've really been enjoying using it as it is so I will continue to plug away with this I don't have any reason to like roll it out and roll something else in I want to get this finished this year. That is my goal. Then another uh, loose product by Bare Minerals. This is a blush. Um, this is Lux Radiance and it's a beautiful blush. I am wearing it today, um, but we made a little bit of progress. So we were at that coral line and now we're at that purple line. Um, so I made a, a little bit of progress. We're getting to the part of the container where it's really difficult to show progress now. Um, up until we get like down here it's gonna just be really slow because this is the widest part of the packaging so progress is gonna look very very slow and very very minimal but that's okay um, this is a great blush for all year round um, it works now when my skin's a little bit lighter and I can really pile it on um, as I get darker um, and tanner during the summer months but I do think that I will be finished with this by May June like that's when I think that I'll be done with this. I'm not sure, but I usually, if I'm panning loose blushes like this, I finish two a year. Typically, like the past two years, I've finished two loose blushes in a year. So I think that I can get this done by that kind of time frame, like the April, or April May, May, June time frame, um, and then roll a new blush in in its place. And I'm very excited about that because my loose blush collection is getting very, very minimal. You can't see it over here, uh, or maybe you can very minimally. Um, no, you can't. You can't see the loose blushes. But I only have three other loose blushes in addition to this in my collection, and I've been really slowly just chugging away with like using them or like decluttering them to my my mother-in-law and stuff like that so i have three left or four left um hopefully by the end of this year i'll only have two left that is my goal in total is to try to like get two of them kicked out again and then only have the two focus on those but needless to say we're not done with this quite yet okay i have two more things um i'll start with the less exciting one and then like we'll end on like the highest high note if i am I'm excited about it. Um, so the next product comes from my Build Your Own Palette. Um, I love doing my Build Your Own Palettes, and I've really taken a liking in my year-long project pan to focus on one eyeshadow at a time and trying to see if I can finish it off and how quickly I can finish it off. And I kind of started that last year, and it's like a low-key goal that I'm like doing my Heavy Metals palette um, by Urban Decay since I depotted it, and it lives in one of these um, Tarte camo palettes anyway. I've kind of wanted to like continue and try to use like one shade here and there to completion so I don't have that palette like looming in my numbers and looming in my like everything. So this year is no exception. I really am trying to buckle down and like use some of these things up. And the shadow that we had in is actually this middle one. So this square pan in a sea of circle pans is the one that we've been focusing on. That is Urban Decay Heavy Metals Palette in the shade Maiden. It's an absolutely gorgeous eyeshadow. Um, super, super flattering with almost any look, to be quite honest. It's like a champagne kind of gold. 
that's it there swatched out it's like honestly like it just kind of looks wet and it looks so beautiful it's gorgeous on the eyes it works really great with the colors in my subculture that are left and i've really enjoyed using it so much where i have like a decent amount of pan now like it is like it's really really grown um i use it all over the lid i'll use it as like a brow bone highlight it's a little bit too dark as like an inner corner but i can get away if i layer that and then something lighter on top of it as a brow bone so i've really been enjoying this um in particular and i'm looking forward to kind of doing the same thing and like fluctuating through like my heavy metals palette let me grab that palette and just show you like how the palette's looking like the very minimal thing my heavy metals palette is looking very very well loved we have the majority of the shadows have pan and then we have a couple that have um been completely used up this is not all of the eyeshadows i did declutter like four or five eyeshadows from that heavy metals palette in total just things that i wasn't going to use like a shimmer black and like another silver i believe was in it and like another shadow that like irritated my eyes when i used it so this is what my heavy metals palette is looking like plus another pan in it. So I'm pretty darn excited about it. Um, hey, that is totally not relevant to right now. Um, but yeah, I hit pan in that. We're not done. I want to finish it. So there is that. And then the very last product that we have that is going to be rolling out is my most exciting one. And that is this guy, my NYX Filler Instinct. Uh, what are you? The, the, the plumping lip balm. This thing is so pretty. I did try to scoop it out and like use it and I realized that life's too short and it's not worth it. I have a whole other one of these that Haley sent me this year. So why bother putting it in a pan and like trying to dig it out? It's not flattering. Like this was ex like technically this is expired. It has a six month shelf life. These have a very small shelf life compared to like other lip products that I have. It's like it smelled fine. It acted fine. It was it was fine but I'm just not gonna like dig it out and use it. I did dig a decent amount out. Like, I don't know if you'll really be able to tell. It looks nasty in there now, just because I like scooped it out and I was like, I'm not doing it and put it back in. So <laughs> it looks kind of gross, but I did finish this as well. So in all in all, we finished two products completely. I'm gonna roll this product out just because it doesn't fit my skin tone right now. And then we have um, three products for sure that are going to be rolled out next update and I'm super excited about it. Um, I'm not going to roll anything in those three products place just because that'll allow me a little bit more flexibility to just like play with my collection and not be dedicated to only project pan items. But we are going to roll a couple items in the place of these three again, not done, but these two are. Let's talk about what's replacing the thing that's not done yet. I just this doesn't fit me right now um, for that I am gonna roll in the product that I've been using every single day as my foundation and I never thought that I would be like a tinted moisturizer kind of girl for my foundation but here I am um, it's working it's working really well this is the super goop CC cream fair light SPF 35 um, I have been using this because this expires pretty soon. This expires in May and I just want to get this used up and like actually use it and not just like let it waste away in my collection. And I actually don't have a whole lot left of this and I've really been enjoying this. Um, I put a little bit larger than a pea size, like maybe like two peas <laughs> of product on my face. So I know it's not like the SPF that it should be. Um, but if I apply too much, it le it literally looks like I have a like ghost face like it is not cute so i only put a little bit on and it blends out really well i think it matches my actual like winter skin tone really nicely so i have really been enjoying this um i will continue to use this and i'm really hoping that i can completely use this up before it expires in may so that's i'm gonna just give this the the college try to use this until may or until it's finished whichever comes first that's gonna be my goal my camera is about to stop recording so let me just like boop boop I'm trying to get better about like getting rid of things as they actually expire instead of being like no it's fine I can use it it's all right like no some things are just not worth it don't don't clog your skin up because you just want to like finish a product like let it let it go life's too short again um for these I am I don't know um so I posted a poll on my Instagram and for some reason I can't get my Instagram thing to like show me the results of the poll. So I don't know. Um, I took a poll asking my followers or my subscribers on Instagram um, what kind of product they wanted to see me pan um, for this project. 
And uh, unfortunately, they picked another complexion product when I am panning so many complexion products, but that is totally fine. That is the name of the game with this kind of thing. So I am going to kind of go with the complexion product um, realm. Um, it was, I think the last time I looked, and again, I don't have the numbers and I'm very, very sorry. I did look to see if I could get it. It just shows the poll was posted and it doesn't have any like here's your numbers of where they were. And maybe it's because I didn't click my own poll. I really don't know. So I think the last time I looked at it, highlighter was like the dead winner. Like people wanted to watch me pan a highlighter, which I am, I was, or I am, the update is coming on the 20th. I am currently using this highlight in my deck of panning project pan with just the goal to like wear the pattern away. And I'm pretty close to the goal on that. Just, um, spoiler without showing you the product but it's still a spoiler so I think what I'm going to do since it was I'm panning a blush and I don't want to pan like two blushes right now at the same time I'm just like very not interested in that what I'm going to do is pick another highlight and I do want to hit pan I want to hit a goal on the highlight since I have a lot of I have a lot of new highlights in my collection since Josh um surprised me for my birthday or Christmas, it was Christmas, it was Christmas. They, they're so close together the time of year. Um, so he surprised me with all of the Kaleidos um, Space Age highlights, so like the whole collection of highlights from them. And I think I just want to roll another one in and actually try to hit pan. There's not a ton of product in them, um, so I think I can actually hit pan in them pretty quickly. Um, Yeah, so not it's not gonna be this one. I'm gonna pull one out and I'll just give me give me one second, okay? I am gonna just stick, play it safe. I'm gonna use um this guy Ray Rider um as my highlight, and the goal with this is going to be to hit pan. Um, or do you if let me know if you think my goal should be hit pan or just wear away the imprint. Um, I mean it's very imprinted right now. Not a whole lot of a lot of use in this. I've only used it a couple times, maybe two or three, swatched it maybe once or twice. So let me know if you'd rather see me like hit pan in this or just wear away the pattern and then like move on to another highlight. I don't mind doing that um, with all of these and kind of wearing away all of the patterns on all of these Kaleidos highlights throughout the year. Let me know if you'd like to see that. I know we kind of got a head start with this guy and then maybe with this one. Um, but yeah, let me know if you'd rather see me hit pan or just wear away the imprint. I would be happy to do either, to be quite honest. I like spur of the moment decided the, the last item that I'm gonna project pan in this project. And this is heavily inspired by a friend, subscriber, follower, um, Jesse. Thank you so much, Jesse, for like everything that you like always are so supportive and I really appreciate it. I like talk about you to my husband. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I do. I'm like, this, she's so nice. Just so nice. Anyway, you've inspired me, um, to roll this into this project. So I know, um, when I posted those polls over on my Instagram, I was like, kind of like, oh crap, like you guys voted for complexion products. And I really am just not into like a complexion product right now. Jessie messaged me and she's like, well, I voted for lips, just letting you know. And I appreciate that, Jessie. I really, truly appreciate that. And for you, um, I wanted to add a lip product in. So we rolled a lip product out and I only think it's fair that we're gonna roll another one in. And this is a super old product and I really just wanna get it the heck out of my collection. It's a super light um, nude lipstick by Nude Sticks. And I don't have it marked down quite yet, but this is where we are. It's about the size of my like middle finger, maybe like my ring finger is a little bit more accurate. Okay, it's about the size of my index finger. So I want to use this up. This is going to take so long and I'm aware of that, but I can multitask this. I can use it as a cream blush if I wanted to. I can use it as a lipstick, like, you can see it's a very light, like it's much lighter than the color that we have on, um, but it's a nice like center lip kind of shadow or shade. Man, don't put that on a liquid lip though. That is very difficult to blend out. No, Nude Sticks Whisper, excuse me. I'm going to finish this. It kind of has that like start of like cranny kind of smell where I probably shouldn't be using this, but it's fine. Um, remember when I just said don't use expired makeup because it's not worth it? Here I am. But I'm hopeful. 
Now that I say that, I should just get rid of this, shouldn't I? I should just declutter. No, I'm going to give it a good college try. I'm going to try to use this. If it like bothers me, like the smell or anything, if it bothers my skin, I'm going to declutter this, but I'm going to try it for a month and see how I do. Hopefully I can make some good progress with it. The nice thing is with a product like this, I use a decent amount. So I sharpen it and then sharpening it, like I just sharpened it to like for this video, um, leaves a ton of shedding. So it goes down like decently. So I'm going to use this guy, Nude Sticks Whisper. But yeah, I am excited about all of these products. I'm a little nervous about this lipstick, if I'm being quite honest, but it's about time that I just like use it up and finish it. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying healthy, sane, and safe, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!